week ago, a women's college basketball game. Yes. Outrated an NBA game on at the same heat. time. Yeah. A, a real NBA game, which a is a testament to w- the women's college game right now is elite and with stars. The, yes. the, the quality of play is super high because nobody's turning pro early, obviously, because you can make right. more money as a star college a female player than you can, I shouldn't say more. You can make maybe equivalent money as in the WNBA. So you have cohesion, you have stars, you have all this stuff. Um, but I can, I, you know how much I love the NBA. Right. I am disappointed right now in the league and a little worried same. about the league. Yeah, same, same. So I'm disappointed in that. Saturday should have been an amazing day in the NBA. I had it written. I was like, oh, I want to watch that. Yeah. Jokic and B. And Embiid can't play. And then the nightcap, Steph LeBron, these two guys who are combined 75 years old. Put on a like, show. Okay. We'll keep doing what we've been doing for the last 10 years which is carry this goddamn league on our two backs. These two guys. Yeah. And love and respect to them. It's unbelievable. You know, I've told you, I think Steph does not get enough credit for being as great as he is at 35 because LeBron is doing what he's doing at 39. So people think 35 is not that old. When 35 is Jordan's last year with the Bulls, it's 35. Like, right. um, but... I think the NBA, though, from a strategic perspective, has made a mistake, which is that Warriors-Lakers game, you know, did almost 4 million people. Yeah, that's yeah. a real number for the NBA. On a Saturday night. That's the On night you Saturday. take out your wife. Yes, you go out and exactly. hang out and party. I, I think the NBA can't help themselves but to put those two guys and Kevin Durant front and center. Yeah. And I think it's a mistake. I think that if, just sorry, I'll mix metaphors a bit. Let's say you told FS1, I'm gone in two years. You told them, I'm gone. And they looked at the numbers and they said, okay, Colin shows the strongest show. He's our biggest brand. He's all of it. And they put all of the marketing behind you because they're like, well, it's it's it gets the best numbers. It's this. Then the moment you leave, right? Th- there's there's not a they haven't built anything up. The NBA, in my opinion, should say, okay, Lakers Warriors will do the best number, but we can get eighty percent of the audience if we feature Anthony Edwards. And we need to start getting the public ready for when LeBron and Steph aren't there. And instead, the NBA just keeps writing these guys. And they got away with it because they did it with Jordan. Yeah. And they only got away with it because Shaq and Kobe, you know what I mean, came together and were, the, were there. There's no Shaq and Kobe right now. You're going to have to create Anthony Edwards, Tatum, this net, you're going to have to make them stars and to still put all your eggs in the LeBron Steph Durant basket from a ratings perspective. Well, don't be disappointed then when LeBron and Steph's teams, one misses the playoffs and one is out in round one. And all of America is like, you want me to give a shit about Jokic against the Timberwolves? I don't like they haven't primed the audience for that. And I think it's a mistake. I think it is a, Short-term but, thinking mistake by Adam Silver. So I'll defend him. So the bottom line as a business owner um, is ultimately you need the revenue. And I need the revenue to hire new young people. And so what leagues, the leagues are going to squeeze every last ounce out of Mahomes in 15 years. And there'll be other quarterbacks that come up. But if the other quarterbacks are great, they'll be able to start fresh, hot, out of college and get popular. But the legacy is so imprinted with Brady and Tampa. You just had to put them on every week. 
You, you nobody Jalen Hurts not interested. Uh, young Kyler Murray not interested. We're going to at CB or at, at Fox. We're putting Brady on. We're squeezing every ounce. See, of I boost. think the NFL can do it because people will show up for the football. The yeah. NBA they show up for the stars, and you've got to create them if they're not natural. That's what I'm saying. Like I, the NFL I think can do it. The yeah. NBA needs to teach the audience to care about Anthony Edwards. Like that you've brought up, and you're right. They're in a weird spot already because. All the best players are international okay. guys. But let me argue this. Doesn't the NBA get in trouble when it tries to teach people things? Be a, Black Lives Matter. We're going to teach you about things. Well, it turned off a lot of fans who go to sports to escape. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you. But I've never thought I'm the audience. I think leagues get in trouble when they try to tell you, hey, we're going to teach you a few things about politics, about business. I think you just have to put the popular people on and just – it's not boxing where if you put an old fighter on, you worry about his mental health and what are you doing to his brain. It's like Steph and LeBron are still – by the way, they're both still insanely good. Yeah, I listen, you and I – the this is one we might just not even be able to – we're not going to agree on because I, I would take – on this route, I agree with you. If you're trying, I don't want to learn my civics or political lessons from my sports <laughs> leagues. It's it was stupid to begin with. Um, even if I think for a lot of these guys, their the message was right or their heart was in the right place. That's right. Um, I think they can take a, a page out of the book of wrestling. Wrestling creates stars. You know, yeah. like they they just say this guy is going to be a star and our audience is going to know it because he's going to headline WrestleMania because we're going to put him last on Raw because we are going to make it and for a guy we decide is going to be a star for him not to end up being a star he's going to really have to screw this up because we are pushing pushing it i think that you can i don't think you can turn a nothing player a um, average or just fringe also. I don't let me put it like this. I don't think they could trick America and being like, listen, and Nick fans are gonna get mad at me. Jalen Bronson's the new face of the league. You can't make the 17th right. best player to be like, he's taking the torch from LeBron. I understand right. that. But you can pinpoint a few guys and be like, we are going to market Luca, Giannis.